Mars has always held out something special in the public imagination. The idea of canals on Mars and all of the books that were written in the Orson Welles invasion of Mars, I mean, it just has captured public attention. People looking for something that's really exciting and something that's positive and something that shows that we can still do things that are important. And lift off. The Perseverance launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet. You've poured 10 years of your life into this thing that is screaming through the Martian atmosphere at 17,000 miles an hour. And a million things have to go right for that landing to be successful. But only one thing has to go wrong for it all to sort of come apart. I heard one of the engineers at Jet Propulsion Lab put it perfectly. And he said, I am intellectually confident, but I'm emotionally terrified. And I think that's pretty much sums it up. That's how you feel. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. You know, being part of a team that's landing something on Mars, that, that, that feeling never gets old. I, 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 yeah, I, <laughs> I highly recommend it if you can get it, <laughs> if you can be a part of a team like that. On Earth, we have this process called plate tectonics, where mountains form and they erode, and the, and the continents move, and the ocean basins form and disappear. Because of that, Earth's geological record is, is, is best in younger rocks and in younger terrains. As you go back in time on Earth, we just don't have a record for the first several hundred million years of Earth's history. Mars, on the other hand, the, the plate tectonics does not appear to have ever taken place. And so on Mars, that early geology, it, it, it's been preserved. And so by looking at those rocks on Mars, we actually may get a window about what was happening on Earth at that time. The instrument that I've been working on is called PIXEL, which is an acronym. It's NASA, everything has to be an acronym. Uh, that acronym is the Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry. Essentially what it is, is it's a chemical analyzer that sits out on the end of the rover's arms. And that instrument turns on and it fires a beam of X-rays at the surface of the rock that we're looking at. And the X-rays that come back to the instrument tell us something about the chemistry of that rock. What's that rock made out of? We use that information to really reconstruct the environmental history of the landing site that we're gonna be driving around in. I'm also a team member on another instrument called SuperCam. My primary interest is the technique called LIBS, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, which is a mouthful. But really what it means is that you take a laser and then you zap a rock with a laser, it vaporizes a tiny, tiny bit of that rock. And when it vaporizes it, that emits light. And it turns out that the wavelength of the light is determined by one of the elements on the periodic table. It also has a really, really high quality camera. And then finally, the SuperCam has the microphone. Because of the discoveries we've made on Mars, we are moving closer and closer to be able to address these really important questions about whether or not life uh, ever existed on another planet. As you get closer to an answer, then of course you're gonna get more and more excited.